All right, folks. This has been a fine October day out in the backyard. I have my most uh, recent motor out here today. I've made five motors in the last few years. This one is a double solenoid motor. Kind of like the uh, an antique motors that were made back in 1910. <clears throat> Let's try it going f forward. It's running pretty slow right now. I have it running on a 12 volt transformer that I use for radio controlled airplanes. It's easy to see the uh, operation of the contact switches with the engine running slow. I suppose I could increase the voltage by another 25. But for the time being this provides a good Uh, what am I trying to say? It provides a good demonstration mode, if you will, showing the, the action of the uh, solenoid pistons going into the cylinders along with the uh, contact switches. The, uh, the, the contact switches work for running the motor forward and backwards as well as a stop and start function. I have about 100 feet of magnetic wire on each one of the cylinders and I'm not sure if that's completely correct but it seems to get the job done. Let's try it going backwards now. I'll reset the uh, timing switches for backwards. It seems to run a little faster backwards. I'm not sure exactly why that is. But it's an interesting project in early electronics. Early electronics. I see you can see a little spark on the uh, switch as the uh, electricity is turned on just when the piston is in position to go back into the cylinder. And then after the piston is all the way into the cylinder, the electricity is cut off, allowing the, the piston to return to the outside position. And so here we have the uh, double solenoid 
electric motor and I'm thankful to say that it's running pretty well. There's always more that can be done. The projects are never complete, but I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on this fine October day out in the backyard. Thanks a lot, folks.